Hey, and welcome to another installment of Geek Out Commentaries. I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. And we're going to continue our 75th uh, anniversary of Batman with probably the most, uh, would you call it, uh, should I even call it polarizing? No. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? Uh, <laughs> well, I, for, for that joke, yes. <laughs> I would say it's probably the most universally hated. Yes. Of all the Batman movies. Batman and Robin. Mm. Which, to be honest, I... I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I personally, Man, I love being a turtle. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I prefer <laughs> nice. Batman and Robin to Batman Forever. Dude, after watching Batman Forever with you guys, who we'll see, but... Uh, like, this I'm, movie I'm, knows exactly what it is. Yes. I'm, I'm still team Batman Forever because it's like... I mean, we'll see that after we That was the first one you saw in watching. theaters, right? Yeah, it was the first one I saw in theaters. Um, and like I can still like remember... Like being a little kid in theaters and loving Jim Carrey and stuff like that, you know, at the peak uh, of his popularity. Exactly. So, so it still it it still holds holds that candle for me. Now, Jake, this is the first Batman film you saw in theaters. This is. I was able to convince my mom to take me to see this movie because it was starring George Clooney, and she loves George Clooney. Well, that ER, which middle aged woman doesn't. And so that was that was my brother and our in to get to go see the Batman movie. Um, and then I discovered Alicia Silverstone with this film. You hadn't seen Clueless before this? No. So this is your Jake Bozik likes girls moment. This is my <laughs> Jake Bozik loves Alicia Silverstone moment. It still does it is No, no, it's, it's not girls. Not girls. Alicia Silverstone. Could still be, could still be boys Well, overall. it's funny because I... I it, well, no, because I mean, I had a huge crush on Batgirl, the TV, like, you know, the TV show. Yeah, Craig, so did everyone. Sure. Yeah. 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 And so um, this is like Captain the... Kirk in season three. This is like Star my Trek. generation's... Or my, when I say my generation's, the Jake Bozik... <laughs> you know, Batgirl crush love, just you know, she's quest not love. Co- she's not Commissioner Gordon's niece in this one. Yeah, it's we, well, or, you know, we can't, daughter. we can't go and, um, into like Batman mythos in this one too much. Yeah, it's fiction. It's Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah. it's Batman We're watching and Robin. Batman and Robin, and uh, yeah, Chris, you want to cue us up? Yeah. So, um, as usual, this is from my uh, DV, my Blu-ray uh, box set of the uh, the Tim Burton and Joel Schumacher ones. So, if you're not watching that one, shouldn't be too much different. But uh, so I have the movie queued up. It's just paused at uh, the zero counter. So make sure that you are set and ready to go because I am hitting the play button in five, four, three, two, one, play. And God help us. We are so fucked. (laughs) Oh man, I didn't get shots. We were going to do shots before the movie to make it bearable. Damn. We're also going to wear Batman masks. Oh, yeah. We uh, didn't do we, that. Wow. We did not we're fucked fulfill up. anything. We're just fucked. Yeah. Now, I read something that was interesting. Schwarzenegger gets top billing, by the, the way. The two time Bane shows up in Batman films both start off with a frozen Batman emblem that shatters. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Schwarzenegger paid a king's ransom to star in this film. <laughs> didn't he also get paid the most? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Top billing, you know, highest paid. Uh, the original script had was written with Patrick Stewart in mind, but then Joel Schumacher was like, "Hey, Mr. Freeze should be look should look like he's cut from a fucking glacier. I can only make this movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger." Now I like that like um, kind of symbolism, like cut like a glacier. But Jesus Christ, it should have been Patrick Stewart. <laughs> yeah. Earlier, we made the observation that the credits are running away. The credits are running movie. away from this movie. I st- I do still like this, the score. Sure, sure. A great score. All right, so we're starting out. It's badass. Look at that. Ah, oh, nipples. nipples uh, okay. Hey, Nightwing. Mm. Oh, butts. And more butts. Gen cod pieces. All right, so already starting on a down note. Two hours. Two more hours of this, gentlemen. Jesus, what have we gotten ourselves into? Okay, cool capes. Nice new Batmobile. Still looks kind of badass. All right. More the convertible look. It's wider. Yeah. Than the forever one. It's I mean, kind of a, it's kind of a mismatch between the uh, a mashup between the uh, returns and forever cars. Yeah. I like it. Looks cool. That suit doesn't look terrible. No, I remember having a really cool George Clooney action figure actually. Yeah. yeah so did I. Kind of a night a Robin mm-hmm. Nightwing kind of scheme, except for the fact that it's red yeah. and he has a cape. Yeah, visually it's doing all right so far. You know, it's kind of a badass cave. Yeah, pretty badass. Mm. 
Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go shoot myself in the head. Two more you hours, guys, gentlemen. <laughs> you guys enjoy the movie. Vivica A. Fox is in this movie. Yeah, she's um, Mr. Freeze's henchwoman. Oh yeah, dude, I've seen this movie like dozens of times, and I. Okay. Apparently, there's no top to the. <laughs> you can still see his little head. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty-six didn't have a top. Slowly but surely. <laughs> Much like his sex life. That's still a badass bike. I don't see why. Is he's that upset. a skull on the between the handlebars? <laughs> <laughs> According, apparently, uh, Chris O'Donnell said that, like, oh, God. Ugh, more with the food and now. Oh, this is what I'm reduced to. Oh. I, I got to stick it to him, man. He stuck through these four movies he like did. his champion. My career. But, yeah, the uh, according to... Uh, I, nope. Oh. Pat Hangel stuck it in as well. He stuck stuck with it, you know. Only the old men could fight through. Senor Freeze. Shouldn't he be Dr. Freeze? <laughs> yeah, I didn't go to 10 years of medical school to be called Mr. <laughs> Do you think George Clooney, like, given the circumstance, could have been a good Batman? I think so. Yeah, no, yeah. didn't you see from Dust Till Dawn? He can be a badass action star. I think he could have had the Bruce Wayne thing down pretty well, oh, too. Oh, have hands oh, totally. down. Like, That's easily. like him and his like, He is Bruce Wayne, yeah. Okay, and prepare for the puns. I think there's 19 upon last count. Ice-related puns alone. Is that an official count, or is that you? That's me, I think. One. And there's one. (laughs) I should actually keep track of these. (laughs) Apparently Schumacher would start out every... Wait a minute. I don't know if that's a pun. I wouldn't count that. Hey, but you got Batman jumping through Skylight. It's not a Batman movie if he's not. It's not a Batman movie. So this is technically a Batman movie. (laughs) But yeah, apparently Schumacher would start right before... This is technically a Batman movie. Every take he would scream, Remember people, it's a cartoon. (laughs) (laughs) And it kind of shows... No guns. <laughs> no puns. <laughs> there you go. There's your third one. Okay. So I won't make a num- for number four. Iron Monkey fight scene coming up. <laughs> which we haven't watched yet. Nope. <laughs> it's on the docket for later. Yep. Ugh. Yes, yes. Casey Jones from Hell. <laughs> um, it's hip because they got not rollerblades. <laughs> <laughs> no, clearly they're ice skates because they're on ice. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it now, kill them. It's like Batman on ice. Like this is I what the w- show would look like. What? As a, as a little kid, I would have totally s- gone to see Batman on I Ice. I saw something like... It wasn't Batman on Ice, but it was a Six Flags, like a Batman stunt show. Shit, I would still see that Batman would, on yeah, Ice. I would, yeah. Even after this. Yeah, it was terrible. I, I, I saw it Beauty was and the terrible. Beast on Ice. <laughs> as a little kid. <laughs> I got some pretty nice moves for being in their shoes. Good thing Batman thinks of everything. That's right. See? Yep. <laughs> How well timed. <laughs> I almost feel like you should include that <laughs> on your tally. <laughs> Technically went ahead. <laughs> no, nah, I think it should be just Arnold Schwarzenegger ones.
what was that guy doing? <laughs> exactly. Where'd he go? <laughs> he was just kind of like crouching. There he is. Oh. So just for the record, over the course of four movies, Batman's gone from urban legend to ice skating crime fighter. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to get Mr. Freeze. Oh, here, you there go. we go. There's number four. That's actually personally my favorite one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The Ice Age. And I'm kind of sad we talked over it. I'm kind of sad that that's, I mean, no, actually, I'm, I'm, it's glorious. <laughs> what am I talking about, the Ice Age? <laughs> it's I'm like, kind of sad that it's a historical inaccuracy. Yeah, it's also the probably the entire reason they set the sequence in a museum. <laughs> Joel Schumacher was like, guys. Got a great idea for a pun. I feel like they wrote this movie around the puns. I would. They, like, came up with a list of... Way to go, Robin. You had it, and you lost it. You know, give this movie all the shit you want. Um, At least his henchmen are themed properly. (laughs) Unlike Jack Nicholson's henchmen. Or the penguins. Yeah, or the penguins. Who, the Penguins should have been Jack Nicholson as the the Joker. And then you've got uh, you've got two faces like S and M men. Hey, you know what? At least they had like the Deathstroke masks. Not entirely sure what went on there, but. <laughs> Ah, uh, there you go. Five. Wait, I thought it was only ice-related puns. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Because other th- if that was the case, every word he said would be a pun. <laughs> or every line. Fine, just ice puns. Wow, that's a phallic-looking rocket. Aren't all rockets kind of phallic-looking? Uh, <laughs> and if that's a phallic-looking one... What does that symbolize? Blast off. <laughs> what interesting controls. At what point do you think George Clooney was like, fuck? <laughs> I don't know what, f- what they filmed first. There you go. <laughs> I mean, even in the press interviews for this movie, George Clooney is pretty much like... Yep. <laughs> For those keeping score at home, we are currently at seven ice-related puns from Mr. Freeze. And how many minutes are we in? Is it 11? <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. It's almost one a minute. Closer to two a minute, but still. Or uh, one every two minutes. Yeah. Right. I mean, honestly, that the montage shots of their cod pieces and asses took up too much time. <laughs> yeah. Or ice to see you. <laughs> Star Trek. Set phasers from stun to kill. Mm-hmm. Set phasers to melt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, when surfing was the coolest thing ever. Yeah, hey, Tommy from the Power Rangers surfed like this, too. So did James Bond and Die Another Day. (laughs) Clearly the greatest James Bond movie of them all. Clearly. (laughs) So, Mr. Freeze's plan was to steal the diamond and then shoot a rocket up, jump out of it before 
the rocket exploded. I'm just wondering where he's going from here. <laughs> because if memory serves well, it's stupid. <laughs> oh, no! Apparently he's a Ninja Turtle. He should be so lucky. Gotham City has apparently become like Blade Runner status in the meantime. Seriously. I'm okay with that. Actually, yeah. There's other things you see later in the city that's like, that's just weird, but but this is fine so far. I like how doing that is able to slip right I know. <laughs> So does, like, Freeze's mere presence, like, generate snow? And why are all these vault <laughs> doors open? Well, all he has to do is push them. Like, nothing's locked in Gotham. Ugh. I just think we haven't even met the worst villain yet in the movie. The worst part of the movie. (laughs) The day is mine. You know, there's a moment where Batman's like, I could just, like, keep him frozen. (laughs) (laughs) He's not dead. Blow him a kiss, blow him a kiss. Ah, damn it. (laughs) Wow. Wow that he can pick up a full human and all the ice. Cause ice We've gone from Batman, heavy. like, basically killing the Joker, putting bombs down dudes' pants and, and blowing them up laser. and smiling about it, to thawing Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know, I was rewatching, I was rewatching 89, <laughs> and he does, like, just kind of willy-nilly go around killing people. He straight up shoots everybody in the parade. <laughs> Oh, boy. Get Lex Luthor coming up. Lionel Luthor. That's right, Lionel Luthor, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. Typical nerdy girl goes bad. Don't trust nerdy girls. Against. Personal note, I think she's the worst performance, villain-wise, in the entire Batman saga. Personal note. Diane. Toss-up between her and Tommy Lee Jones. I'm going to go ahead and with her. Well, obviously, he doesn't want you in there with all those signs. (laughs) Oh, hey, they've got that cool laser shit from Alien. And Batman Forever. (laughs) And who did... um he voiced somebody in the animated series. Was it the Scarecrow? Uh, no. He definitely voiced someone in the animated series. Three. Three. I can't even do that. No. Oh, makes me sad. Rolling the R's on three. Why did they put a gimp mask on him? So they can pump it into his brain, I don't know. Oh, Super Soldier Serum. Is that Captain America? <laughs> Steve Rogers.
By the way, this was terrifying to see as a child. This was my first introduction to Bane, and this was fucking terrifying. Oh, who's the Riddler? Oh, oh he was? Yeah, that's Series. right. Yeah, he yeah. was the Riddler. Now I remember. Did an awesome job as the Riddler compared to his Jason Woodrow, the Floronic Man. Doomsday? Any any particular reason or... Uh, oh, okay. okay. Oh, all right, all right. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. This movie is the bane of my existence. <laughs> you know, you guys know I love Bane. I actually don't hate his outfit in this. No, no, the outfit looks all right. Looks the outfit looks better than The Dark Knight Rises. The dark is more outfit, accurate to is. the uh, the outfit. Yeah, yeah. I like. I mean, again, if you listen to us on any kind of regular basis, you know I love Tom Hardy, but. What? You like Tom Hardy? Yeah. 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 No. But um yeah, I like this outfit. And you know what? His performance is funny. Except for being like the well, antithesis yeah, I mean, of Well, it's funny cuz Bane is arguably one of his smartest villains and one of his strongest and they only focus on one aspect of it. But Oh, and he can say It looks Bane. like Bane. Yeah. He actually can say two words at least. <laughs> I am Bane. <laughs> Bane and Bomb. Bomb. Probably the best part of the entire movie. <laughs> My favorite part. <laughs> I remember as a kid, I would always get so excited to find out what the next Batman villains were, like on the big screen. Yeah. It was always kind of a game. It's like, oh, cool. Like, when are they going to have the Scarecrow? They never had the Scarecrow. <laughs> and like the Howard Stern, right? <laughs> he was supposed to be, yeah. <laughs> I would have watched that. He was supposed to, yeah. I was waiting for Eddie Murphy Riddler. I'm still waiting for uh, David Hyde Pierce Riddler. I would love to see uh, Neil Patrick Harris Riddler. Yeah, either that of them. works. Yeah, that yeah either of them would be great. When they were uh, trying to come up with a story for Dark Knight Rises, Warner Brothers suggested to Chris Nolan, they were like, hey, could you do uh, Leonardo DiCaprio as the Riddler? And he was like, no. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ. Is that what, much shorter fall than Michelle Pfeiffer's. Yeah, than, uh, you would think that if it was like... Then the plants come out and they lick yeah. her face. They kind of do a... They pull an evil dead on her. Yeah. If I remember correctly. Not quite as intense. I don't know. Evil dead didn't have snakes involved. I feel like this is almost like a stage show with all the like the lights and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Especially like that entire ice sequence. <laughs> it looks like B-roll footage from Junior. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they just showed that scene. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that. It's like OS 8. <laughs> Bat computer. <laughs> Ar- Arnold's stressed voice. What does he always need? <laughs> what does he always need? New diamonds. Yeah. Does it? Does does it yeah. It drains it the power yeah. of the diamond. Does it lose its opacity? <laughs> or what, oh, it's no longer a diamond. It goes back to coal. Turns coal. Yeah. yeah. We we got there, Chris. We got there at the same time. We're geniuses. We're we're geniuses on the level of Joel Schumacher. <laughs> you are on the same. You are as smart as Batman. <laughs> the world's greatest detective. World's greatest detective. detective. I hope that Chris O'Donnell and George Clooney like annually meet up and watch this film and just Wouldn't get wasted. <laughs> just like never again. Yeah. <laughs> Shots every time they go, Ugh. Never again. 
as George Clooney uppercuts the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Punch. Yeah. And Chris O'Donnell's like, great, now we have to buy another one for next year. <laughs> I feel like that was Michael actually talking to uh, Joel Schumacher. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the, inter- the two of them. Some the of the interactions together, yeah. Yes, you will. Like, actually, I don't know if it's just... George Clooney said that when he... You know, when they were talking about how his role should be portrayed, he was like, I want to, you know, we've done the, the tortured adult, like, for three films now. I kind of want to show somebody that's a little more confident and a little more comfortable in their own skin. Yeah. Well, in, the- in theory, the addition of Robin would, you know, help soften him. That's what it did in the comics. Well, I always love when they... He's got pl- that Starbucks apron again. Yeah, I know. He loves it, man. <laughs> I always love when they play on, like, the like the Alfred and, like, young Bruce and their relationship together. Yeah, and the George son. Clooney, to his credit, man, like, I believe that he has a past with Alfred. When, you know, when you watch... And not just the flashbacks, obviously, help, but when he's talking to him yeah, as, as a real man. Like, I, I really like the two of them together. They yeah. have a chemistry, sure. So take that. That's some positive Batman and Robin action. Boom. Boom. Again, take that. Put it over Batman forever a little bit. Oh, yeah. Especially yeah. It especially makes sense that he'd be more comfortable in his own skin after his character arc so, in, in Batman forever. Too. Yeah. Poison Ivy conjures lightning and thunder. Underground lightning and thunder. Oh, my God. It's a cartoon, guys. Remember that. I did always think she was, like, super attractive. Like, this is, for me, like, the most attractive Uma Sam Thurman. Stone likes girls. Sam Stone likes girls. <laughs> that's, that's not a deal breaker for Jason Woodrow. <laughs> <laughs> Unique. New Le- York. Got the, got the lethal weapon score in the background. <laughs> Ugh. Don't don't look at me while you're making out with him. <laughs> I will say this is the the probably the most attractive I've ever seen Uma Thurman. I feel like there should be a song and dance number like right here. Right? <laughs> Bane dancing in the background. <laughs> we get Bane in a uh, gorilla suit, don't we? We yes. do, we do. Yeah. I remember when, uh, we were watching this like a year or so ago, Sam and I. And, like, you know, there's a grill in the background. I was like, oh, wouldn't that be great if it was Bane? Because it had been such a while. And then, sure enough, he's still standing there screaming he's Bane. And he takes the, the thing off, and it just, he still has the Bane mask on <laughs> in the Bane. Oh, we'll get there, but classic moment. Classic moment. So if she's so into Mother Nature and Here's stuff the like song that, and dance number like you want, Sam. down. <laughs> fucking outfit how shitty would it be to work for Mr. Freeze <laughs> ah they all have frozen dinners <laughs> there's Vivica Fox okay why is he smoking a cigar if he has to be frozen and why is the cigar frozen Schwarzenegger just wanted to smoke on set. (laughs) Boom. So why does he have her at all? Why is she even there? (laughs) 
Bob. Gun. Remember in the first two where Joker kills one of his henchmen, and then in the second one, Penguin kills one of his henchmen, and in this one, they're dancing with frozen dinner stuck to their tongue? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, you're going to freeze the city and then hold it ransom? <laughs> Man, I wonder where Mr. Freeze is hiding. This is that giant, like, Mr. Frosty sized fucking factory <laughs> in the middle of the city. And it's always no. perpetually 50 degrees colder than the rest of. Of course not. Batman is the world's greatest detective. He would know that. World's <laughs> greatest detective. He still has the giant chess pieces in the yeah. of his house. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Best part of the movie. No, make Alfred get it. It's his job. He got the turtleneck back. That is a massive turtleneck. <laughs> outdoing, outdoing Michael Keaton, man. Wow, passive aggressive much? <laughs> Ooh, knees. <laughs> she looks like she had a stroke. <laughs> she sounds like she had a stroke too. <laughs> I remember during the making of this movie, I guess she had put on like a little bit of weight and couldn't fit in the suit or something along something along those lines happened. And everyone, of course, in the press was like fat girl, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And to Jill Schumacher's credit, I've actually never heard, I've never, I've only heard nice things about Jill Schumacher, like people like working with him and like as a human being, which is more important than, you know, making good Batman movies, whatever. And he like stuck up for her so hardcore in the press because he was like, you know, whatever. She's like a young girl, put on some weight, like blah blah blah, and like Schumacher like totally went to bat for her, and like it, I don't know, it was kind of cool reading about him. Went to bat, bat girl for her. <laughs> and basically, told the press and everyone to like, go fuck themselves. I think the only person, I mean, he didn't get along with Tommy Lee Jones, and which and, I, this isn't hard to believe. And uh, what's his name, Val Kilmer? Well, that's really easy. Yeah, to Val believe Kilmer. that. They would, you know. Well, he basically, after the success of Batman Forever, they fast tracked this film, and they were basically like, he Val Kilmer had already lined up the Saint, and they're mm-hmm. like, well, it's one or the other, and he's like, I'm going to do the Saint, <laughs> and we all know how that worked out. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty well, <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough turtlenecks to go around. George Clooney bobbles his head the entire movie. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> and he knows it, too. I know. <laughs> he knew it. Oh, wow. He has horses on either side of the gates, too. <laughs> He's watching two videos at once. <laughs> oh, you, sorry, dear. You're watching me? <laughs> you're catching me in the middle of watching pornography. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Wait, isn't she supposed to be going to school in England? Yeah, she's supposed to be British. Uh, okay. Okay. Wilfred and Alfred. Mm-hmm. How many Fred names are there? No idea. <laughs> That's a real picture. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Yes. <laughs> That's sad. I love how she signs her pictures. It's supposed to be his like girlfriend or or oh, is that, sister. Is that Gloria Stewart? 
Looks like Gloria Stewart. From Invisible Man and Titanic fame, <laughs> which is like two movies on the like beginning and end of her career. It looks exactly like Gloria Stewart. I think there I feel like there is some subplot that Alfred was actually her like dad. actual father. Yeah, yeah. Despite like a fifty year difference. Cause I'm already drunk on Robitussin. <laughs> Let the jacket to go over her other jacket. Now, this scene coming up, I believe, is what they ended up expanding on, which was going to be the rooftop chase with the Batmobiles in uh, Batman Forever. I feel like that's after the charity ball. Do they actually have the actual, like, like a rooftop? I can't remember. Yeah, oh, yeah. With the Batmobile and stuff? Okay, never mind. I like how she went old school. I was just thinking of the the race car stuff. Yeah. (laughs) Can't mess with the classic. I don't know why there's that giant guy holding balls out in the middle of the street. (laughs) Take them, (laughs) please. (laughs) Choose wisely. I've been holding these since Batman Returns. Hey, it's Bob Kane's wife. Gotham must know. <laughs> that was Sam doing his uh, Miss Kane impression, introducing Miss Kane. Yes, the yeah. Bane <laughs> classic. Can't mess with the fedora. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Three his lines, favorite then. Vampire Weekend song. <laughs> he knew years before they even wrote it. They should have sampled him saying. They should have, yeah. They do do the pitch change in the end where it's like a deep voice. That's actually just the boom operator for the movie. (laughs) (laughs) Probably was, actually. Now, when had Bob Kane passed away in relation to... Because obviously he between, was not around for this movie. I want to say between Forever and, and Robin. Because he was around for Forever. Did, was mm-hmm. he around for it when... Uh, oh, hey, look. There's the cameraman see, the, in the in reflection the of the thing. <laughs> oh. How shitty of a movie. I mean, he dies the year after this. So he was alive when oh, really? and Robin came oh, out. Oh, he was? He was? Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I, I didn't think he ever saw Batman and Robin. I mean, I'm assuming he did if he this was around for it. This is what killed him. Habida, habida, No M word. This is actual George Clooney right here. I don't know. I. <laughs> Why does Gossip Gertie get to be up there, but like all these other news guys have to be down on the floor? Because she's Gossip Gertie. Yeah, she if they maybe the other guys are known as Gossip Bill. Gossip Mark. Gossip Gus. Yeah. Nobody likes Gossip Gus. Dr. Miss. (laughs) Mrs. Doctor. (laughs) Another Wayne tech employee going off the fucking deep end. Mm-hmm. Oh, good, it's recycled. Kind of the same, like, kind of plan as, uh, you know, um, of uh, Edward Nigma to just, like, be like, ah! To basically have no plan whatsoever. Yeah. Too many questions. Too many questions. Too Too many many questions. questions. (laughs) It's called Batman and Robin. (laughs) You got to give Gotham PD like credit for letting psychos finish their speeches before they haul them off. (laughs) 
<laughs> Uma Thurman douchebag face. <laughs> that slow turn, like, oh. <laughs> so they went from being a myth, an urban legend, to to spokespersons. Special guests at, at celebrity events. Fear El Thune. I have a giant card. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I have an invite now. I'm allowed to be here. God, she's like a social justice blogger. I, I I like cake. <laughs> ah, it's my favorite. <laughs> eat it, eat it now. No, I can only eat ice cream cake. <laughs> hum, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Chief. <laughs> I've never heard that sound effect before. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry, Arnold. <laughs> Look at the thing on your neck. Ah, ah. Ah, it's so shiny. It's just like my name, Freeze. <laughs> it's ice. Get it? Do you get it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that turned the Ray Romano <laughs> in the end there. <laughs> See, he killed his henchmen, unless he thaws them. <laughs> Very ice. <laughs> nice. Ice. I already made the nice ice pun. I made it myself. Ice, ice, baby. Nice ice, baby. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Didn't we have tribal people at the at the circus in forever as well? Yeah, we did. I'm probably the same set. I think this song. <laughs> Bane's coming up. Gorilla, <laughs> Gorilla Bane. <laughs> Best Bane. Baneilla. Baneilla. Ooh. The flying grace. Oh. Sorry, Robin. Too soon? That totally does look like a Nightwing costume. I mean, in New 52 Nightwing, he's got the red instead yeah. of the blue. They were probably like, you know what? Joel Schumacher, he had it right. <laughs> Apparently, it was a coloring mistake, and the editors loved it. And it's just like, and according to Kyle Higgins, who was writing Nightwing for most of the run, he was like, yeah, first time I saw the new color job, uh, kind of reminded me of Batman and Robin, but they wouldn't let me change it back. <laughs> 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 Gee, I wonder if there's something wrong. So, they're bidding on on women? Yes. I love how they're bidding on all of them at the same time. Yeah. Like it, it, like it's a, as if is it as if they're bid outbidding each other. But but they're bidding on different people. Yeah. Again, bidding on people. That happens all the time. Yeah. Bid for a date. Yeah, I suppose. Until the giant white-haired gorilla. That's Bane, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if that was Bane? Yeah, right. I like to think <laughs> it is until obviously it's off, not. Like, Ugh! <laughs> we wish. We wish it was Bane. It's still Bane. <laughs> it's still Bane. <laughs> could, yeah. could still be Bane. Oh, look at them nipples. <laughs> Taut with excitement. <laughs> Who needs bat nipples when you have gorilla nipples? That's Uma quite Thurman, never better. It's <laughs> quite the widow's peak, though. Hey, doesn't she look a lot like the girl that... W no, no, that girl had glasses. Couldn't be her. 
I like how it seeks out all the men in the audience. Some of the women, too, they seem pretty enthralled. I mean, they have a dancing gorilla. This is where she sings the James Bond theme. (laughs) (laughs) Samson likes girls. (laughs) And then she's dead. Trust fall. Like, this wasn't part of the plan, like the ceremony, but everyone's just letting it happen. Huh? Is that J. Jonah Jameson, by the way? <laughs> God, look at Robin. Just like. Look at the I saw yeah, I saw that guy, yeah. Ah! <laughs> She's out of focus. She should be the one in focus. Stamina. Does that mean she hasn't shaved in a while? Wait, what? What? That's Patrick Leahy over there that was in, like, center frame. There he is, like, with the glasses, the old bald man. He's the senator of Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> he was. He's such a big Batman fan, he also shows up in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises. Oh, really? He's the guy that get, has the knife held to his face by the Joker at the party. Oh. Yeah. And he's one of the Wayne Foundation. You see the guy who was like... Wait, hold uh, on, guys. Expiration uh, date forever. Uh, <laughs> what does that even mean? By the way, always expires. (laughs) (gasps) Oh, before a winner could be declared. Ah. Real quick, though, is the guy when he has the knife to the face, is that the guy who's like, uh, you know, Joker's like, you remind me of my dad or that whole thing? Yeah, okay. That's Patrick Leahy. Uh, There you go. Mark it, Sam. Now we're going to get an account every time he yells chill. Do you want me? Do you want me to? No. One time's enough. Uh, Much like viewing this movie. <laughs> wow, way to miss there, George. <laughs> Did he just headbutt his crotch Why with not? that guy's head? Oh, God, there's another one. (laughs) That's kind of funny, actually. (laughs) It's a cartoon, guys. Is that Kim Basinger? (laughs) (laughs) That doesn't make any sense. (laughs) Is that diamond lit? Boom. (laughs) 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 
<laughs> that was a nice little like sax cue, just like the old sixty six Batman. Yeah. That was another. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your rooftop car chase. Here's your rooftop car chase. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> Abe. Abe. Kill. Human kill. work. Abe. Human work. Human work. <laughs> the fact that he stood there the entire fight dressed as an ape or gorilla. I, I wish it had been an orangutan. Yeah. <laughs> Sam would have been laughing the whole time. Like this guy. <laughs> oh, that guy's a lot. Was that the same guy? He froze? I don't know. He looks like he's crying. <laughs> Here's your rooftop call, Chase. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for him, these things are hollow. So that probably would have been a lot more difficult to shoot through. So Batman uses a communicator, but Robin yells. The sudden stop makes him fall off the statue. Yeah, and and fall to his death. Shatters both of his legs. <laughs> Damn it. As the bike lands on his legs. How did he get ahead of him? Boom. And he just leaves the Batmobile there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so is he dead? Because he's just kind of like... <laughs> he looks his dead. His eyes are open. He's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he didn't leave the Batmobile. Whatever. Screw you guys. <laughs> Yeah, well, your parents are dead. Yeah, because Robin and Batman doesn't roll off the tongue. going to go become Nightwing. Why don't you just email him? Alfred's awesome mixtape. <laughs> Volume one. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm Batman.
That's... Wow, it's like the most insightful thing this movie can bring to the table. Yeah, I feel like that's yeah. why all of us shut up for like two minutes because that was actually like a real, like heartfelt speech. Straight from the heart, Alfred. Straight from the heart. You know, speaking of like the Alfred Batman relationship, the best Alfred Batman thing I've ever read, seen, been a part of in terms of game, whatever, is Arkham Origins. I love the relationship between the two of them. There's a scene between the two of them where basically Batman is yelling at Alfred and Alfred's yelling back at him about the whole thing and how it's, it, it was one of the most like stunning Batman. So has she Alfred been gone for like seen. two or three days now? Or red. Yeah. Probably. Because we saw her leave. I mean, I forgot she was in this movie and I have a huge crush on her, but I forgot she was in it. some Kristen Stewart acting there for a bit. No, no, she showed emotion. I'm sorry. Boom, I'm sorry. take that, Kristen Stewart. <laughs> Knocked you down a peg. <laughs> Arkham Asylum looks like the <laughs> Wicked Witch of the Witches, Wicked Witch of the West's castle. Wicked, Wicked Witch. I wonder if Odo from Deep Space Nine still works there. Odo, he didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still dead, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> Cold beam. Is that Jesse Ventura? Mm-hmm. Oh, I forgot Jesse he was in body. this movie. Get that pen handy. You know, for a doctor, you're pretty dumb. That's pretty inhumane only having, you know, the cold zone on his bed. You know, you'd think that he would at least have the whole cell. Right? Narkom doesn't give a shit about it. Nah, they don't. <laughs> nah, I guess that's fair enough. Incognito Bane. <laughs> Incog. Let's find that blacklight gang from the last movie while they're listening to like the Smashing Pumpkins or something. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually really happy when these guys showed up again. They look cooler than they did in the last movie. Yeah. More sugar skull than anything. Skull candy. (laughs) (laughs) What? <laughs> Taking off the hood seems so anticlimactic since she still has the hey, Exactly, yeah. It's like taking off the hat to have another hat on underneath. Yeah. <laughs> There's that sound effect again. Not as dramatic. I 
Extreme Home Makeover Poison Ivy Edition. And, and Bane. Bane. And Bane. <laughs> it's a shame that the actor who played Bane like passed away very shortly after filming this movie. Jeep Swenson. Yeah. yeah. This movie killed him. Like Bob Kane. <laughs> Cement. Well, to be fair, he got all the plants taken care of in one day. <laughs> <laughs> just, just throwing that out there, Poison Ivy. If you're going to reference the Bible, you should probably know. I mean, just just, just saying. Though nothing beats that 1997 CGI. True Jeez. that. You say deminer. <laughs> let's call the whole thing off. God, can we call the whole thing off? <laughs> Please, let's call the whole thing off. <laughs> Look at Mr. Mr. He only has two lines over here. I didn't say it. I don't care. I'm still going to punch you for it. <laughs> Table's much smaller than it was in 89. Yeah, he learned his lesson. After a year. Again, this is actual George Clooney dialogue. (laughs) She actually didn't know that she was going to be in Batman. She was just dating George Clooney at the time. How many times is she going to say that he needs to think about it? And how many different ways? She seems more confused than upset. I just thought I'd let you guys know. I uh, <laughs> was checking my Twitter, yeah. and somebody asked Paul Stanley if he likes Taco Bell, <laughs> and he said no. Oh, how could so, he not like Taco Bell? I don't know. <laughs> but that was a very pressing issue. Well, you know, nothing's happening right now. So. Yeah. <laughs> well, we been are happening about to- for the past hour and two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to. Is get that a, a gang of like both are <laughs> oh, hey, and, and Clockwork Orange people? <laughs> yeah. And- Let's Those, <laughs> and we're about to have the greatest cameo Whoa, in all David of Bowie's in uh, Ziggy Stardust, I think. Yeah, but yeah, boom, Coolio, Coolio, greatest cameo in all of Batman. <laughs> he is in the director's cut of Daredevil as well. No, the Kessel Run. All of Gotham's gangs are pop culture inspired. Is that a ten year old? Yeah. It's their he's their he's their chief. Kick the <laughs> shit out of everybody else. He's their chief. Like in Temple of Doom. Yeah. <laughs> That'll never happen again in my kingdom. kingdom. The Fuggy Cult. 
I've heard the stories. <laughs> I've heard the stories of the thuggy cult and what they've done. And when I found out it was real, I was so... So they let off balloons and shoot a gun to let you know that the race has started. They do. And they have green fire. In my kingdom. <laughs> and sparks and yeah. fireworks everywhere. I like how this race is almost purely chaos. Yeah. It's like uh, it's like uh, Death Race, the one with James Caan, not the one with Jason Statham. Yeah, and uh, Stallone. That's right, as Machine Gun Joe, one of his first movies. Do you own Machine Gun Joe, or do you? Uh, own I Death actually Race? don't. It's on Netflix. Though. I don't, but I've seen it. Um, what's his face? His uh, outfit in that movie. Um, Carradine's outfit. Yeah. Inspired Judge Dredd's helmet. Ah. Got some techno, ni- late 90s techno going on. The best techno. Oh, damn right. It's the eyeball man from Original Sin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how this racetrack is marked so that they know where to go. I'm not seeing it. I mean, I guess those lights... And- Nightly Trash Run in Gotham. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! 90s sexism! Oh, shit. Some wire work coming up. Did they need to be on wires? They couldn't just throw that from the sides? (laughs) Oh no, fire! My motorcycle's one and only weakness! I feel like there's a subplot where they actually like beat the shit out of the biker gang leader because they don't ever touch on this ever again. <laughs> she just becomes Batgirl. And he totally gets away with it. I'm too hungover for this. Everyone's parents are dead in this movie. (laughs) Even Alfred's. (laughs) Statistically, yeah, they probably are. I don't know. The Dark Knight Returns, he's like 105 years old. They probably live forever. <laughs> the Pennyworths are a resilient bunch. <laughs> the Pennyworths are. <laughs> yeah, we totally like whip him. It's when called he a get job. Thing. Yeah, the it, it only thing it would be worse is if someone called him Al all the time. <laughs> What did your mother do growing up for you? And you need to wipe your mouth, young lady. <laughs> Bruce just comes out of the shadows. That's kind of what he does. Yeah. How did he know <laughs> anything that was going on? He's wearing his robe. <laughs> I've been waiting up for you, Dick. You never came home. Playing Risk by himself. <laughs> I win again. <laughs> I win the again, Batman of Zur and R. <laughs> <laughs> he, play, he plays Risk with Batman and Zur and R. And Zebra Batman. <laughs> Zebra Batman. Rainbow Batman. And Batman Jones. Yeah. Batmite shows up. 
And Grant Morrison. Hmm. What do you think this is? An Animal Man comic? <laughs> yeah. Dude, when are they going to make an Animal Man movie? Let's do it. If they did, they should do it like the really when it came like really macabre and dark and horrific. Funny enough, after Grant Morrison left, like that's when they really started getting dark and violent and nasty. The Peter Milligan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they kind of kept that going. Like, if you, I don't know, did you read the New Fifty Two Animal Man? Uh, every single issue, man. That like I was flipping through it. Like that's what Are I'm reading. You every after. single issue, man. Every single issue. It's man. like <laughs> just like the 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 layout and stuff of it. It looks like horrifying. Did that guy have an eye patch? Yes. Okay, he's always had the eye patch. I yeah, yeah, he had, he had it early on. And the, Joel Schumacher wasn't just like, hey, I think in the next take you should wear this. You'll look cooler. I feel like Jesse Ventura's goatee did get bigger. <laughs> really? I take it back. Worst performance in the entire series, Jesse the Body Ventura. Good God. Yeah. Well, if you want a good performance of his, you should watch uh, The Running Man. <laughs> Sir, have you seen The Running Man? <laughs> I'm not wearing this crap. Does he have a mohawk under that? <laughs> Looks that way. <laughs> I like how her eyebrows change color. Oh, oh. continuity! <laughs> I don't see any references to... Uh, the Joker or Penguin or Catwoman, though. To be fair, none of those three were ever imprisoned in Arkham. Well, neither was Two Face. In the beginning, when the unseen begin. Well, no, it's. Oh, does it say that he? Oh, yeah, yeah no, it does say that he is cast. Is all like, oh, I broke out of Arkham. And then he's like, has the Duda Luck speech. <laughs> Duda Luck. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'm going shopping. Supermarket sweep, Bane. <laughs> <laughs> with, with kung fu grip. <laughs> Diamonds, because they're a girl's best friend. <laughs> How many different versions of uh, Poison Ivy's costume does she wear in this movie? It's <laughs> just bad. <laughs> I'm up uh, fifty long. Jackson Brown. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, do you really don't think Bane can handle all those prison guards like he did earlier? Yeah, he'd probably be fine. Ugh. Ah, how convenient. It made a hole. <laughs> Just big enough for all of us. <laughs> Swim! You know, th that that drop would kill you. Just throwing that out there.
Like he was in Batman 66. Run around yelling pretty willy nilly for having a guest in the house. Oh, they know his lair is there now. <laughs> world's greatest detective Obviously, a woman. For shirzies. <laughs> How convenient that he just knew that that would be there. He is used to, like, trap doors with <laughs> secret entrances and stuff. That's where he keeps his sex dungeon. <laughs> his dead wives. Master Dick. <laughs> They don't see that shit floating around? Why why does he even have the heat option? Oh, is this the end of Commissioner Gordon? (laughs) Boom. (laughs) We're at 19. I guess it's more than 19. It's like he knew that there was going to be a beast coming around and was like, I'm ready for the pun. This is exactly like the fight in the Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> exactly like it. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a robin, not a canary. Or a parrot, or shit. Jim. <laughs> There's your Star Trek reference. You mean with nipples? <laughs> Apparently he didn't think Vicky Vale was that gorgeous. <laughs> or Chase Meridian. Or Julie Madsen. Oof. <laughs> Which wasn't actually true. I never got a Bane action figure. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't actually true. You'd have to buy well, them I'm sure they did, but I don't think I've ever actually seen... It's a weird glove. <laughs> I'm going to look on eBay right now. <laughs> Bane, Batman, and Robin action figure. Come on, Gordon. Come on. Save the day, Gordon. Do it. Heat it. Heat it now. Stop the freeze. That's the most he's done since 
the 89, 89 where he tries to push the bell out of the way. <laughs> Half-hearted push. Ah, all right, let's go home. Uh, Give us a signal. <laughs> he gave us a signal. Boop. Oh, it's like he oh, was going to no. do that the entire time. Oh. Oh, to the old Sabine stairs. Yeah. Smile. Which I still think are like the most dangerous stairs to have at a bar. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a contained fall. It's a litmus test. <laughs> That's the how you know. Break bat. Jesus, how much is she gonna use on them? She's gonna like, give them an aneurysm. You need me. So far, all the Bane stuff I see is like the normal like Arkham game Bane or like Dark, Dark Knight Rises. There is a rare Mexican parody Homer Simpson <laughs> Bane. So far, no Batman and Robin Bane. Animated series Bane. I've always liked I like the animated series Bane. Oh, wait. Batman and Robin. Oh. Although this looks like neither. What? He right. just threw Robin in a vat of <laughs> mint chocolate chip. I know to be you honest, got- if I got thrown into a tub of mint chocolate chip, I'd be cool with quitting, too. That doesn't look like Bane at all. Yeah, I know the people listening can't see it, but the Batman and Robin it Brain looks- versus Brawn action set looks nothing like Batman or Bane in it, this movie. It looks more like uh, the that that supervillain that was like used to be a guard at Arkham, and then he turned... He kind of looks like KG Beast. Hmm. Well, that's not who I was talking about at all. Right, right, right. The search continues. KGB st- still looking. Straight still looking. Soviet. Who was I talking about? Do you remember his name? Would you say Bane's one of the worst characters in Injustice? He's so slow. <laughs> Have you ever faced Garrett Severson's Bane? Well, f- fuck him in that game because <laughs> he, he pisses me off in that game. I got so <laughs> mad at his Lex Luthor. Oh, his Lex Luthor is, yeah. No, I mean, well, he's like, he doesn't count. I'm talking about like normal people <laughs> who are like idiot savants at Injustice. Or fighting games in general. In, yeah. yeah, fighting games in general. I think the worst character is probably... Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. Zatan- <laughs> Zatanna could probably be better. Oh no! A snowflake! <laughs> Surely this is proof that she's dead! I'm still looking at the Batman and Robin stuff. Oh, That's so that weird, guys. The Bane action figure that I've seen for all the Batman and Robin looks like Bane from Nightfall. Yeah, yeah. I guess now because of the technology with the with the uh, action figures, they could make it like way detailed. They wanted to make one, you know. I'd buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. World? Yeah, there it is. Wait, wait, wait. But, uh, what? <laughs> Chris, I feel like you have the same thought I do. You want to elaborate? So, he freezes everything. Killing plants. Killing everything. <laughs> Including that little shop of horrors thing. The little Audrey 2 there. Yeah. And uh, when did that become frozen? Yeah. We didn't see it freeze. God, God, God damn it. <laughs> oh, God, it has a voice, too. <laughs> and then you won't be able to repopulate because he is incapable of it. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Bort. The the what? The Bort. <laughs> Really looks like John Hurt in that last shot. No, he does look pretty hurt. That's for sure. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Mr. Freeze has a cure for that. All we can do is nothing. All right, good night. Thanks for being a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> Best doctor in the world. Yeah. Honest doctor. He's got that dude. He's got the collar popped uh, like in uh, mask, mask of the, of the phantasm. phantasm. It's all connected. <laughs> it's the same movie. Now, how quick? Oh, not how quickly, but how uh, he had dropped off of ER around what time? Like when? He does another like two seasons or a season or two of ER after this. I wonder how much they ribbed him on ER <laughs> for this. <laughs> oh, sorry, Batman. Yeah. <laughs> Clooney joked jokes that he cried at the premiere. Maybe he didn't joke. I don't know. It could go either way with this movie. Yeah. Well, I mean, because at this time he wasn't like bulletproof George Clooney like he is yeah, now. He was you know, sitcom star George Clooney. Yeah. He's the shit in ER, man. Sitcom. Yeah, yeah he was on. You don't uh, laugh. You don't laugh during. Uh, well, no, no, he was on. What ER? was that? Which, what was that one show he was on? I don't. The sitcom <laughs> he was on, The Next Door Neighbor. Uh, not Charles and Charles. Facts of Life. Facts of Life sounds about right. He was on Facts of Life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jesus. with like eighties, like Uncle Jesse style hair. Oh yeah. Wow. And then he was I on ER. I was older than you guys. <laughs> I never watched the Facts of Life. And then he was on ER. You're and you're a oh, man. You're older than us by all of eight months. Yeah. Here's the revolver <laughs> I keep under my pillow. <laughs> I was saving it for myself, but you do you first. <laughs> <laughs> Duties. The last thing I saw Alicia Silverstone on was an episode of Suburgatory. I watched Suburgatory. <laughs> I started to because I like Alan Tudyk, but I just I couldn't. It's good. I think it's Couldn't funny. It's quirky. It's funny. Although season two, and all that, there that, was a season girl, two. Can't find it on DVD anywhere. Jane that, Levy. Yeah, that girl. She's the uh, the one that's in the Evil Dead remake. Yeah, I love Jane. That Levy. I really liked. I would love. Maybe maybe that'll be my horror. Uh, commentary. I love that movie. It's a winner. <laughs> Wait, was that Wiener. Sam? Who was that? Who just said that? <laughs> you gossip, Gertie. That's who said that. The Gotham must know. <laughs> Why would Gossip Gertie be at a tele telescope dedication? Because she's Gossip Gertie. Just because Wayne's there? Bas he's basically like, I don't know. He's like a, a single but why Steve would she, Jobs. But why would she be the announcer at the unveiling? I think Bruce Wayne is secretly boning Gossip Gertie. <laughs> I mean, we kind of dedicated it at the end of Batman 89. Shh. Oh, he gave us a signal. <laughs> In front of, like, everybody. La. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. I feel like this is the most screen time that the commissioner gets. Out the uh, I know. You know, Pat Handel's probably, probably like, fuck it. I'm going to actually, like. I'm gonna go do balls something out. in this. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Get I'm gonna go balls out. <laughs> Bat get, balls to the wall in a yeah. Batman movie. Get that mad motherfucking Commissioner Gordon paycheck. You know he was in Hang 'Em High uh -huh. with Clint Eastwood. Oh yeah, I love that movie. He's the one that that hires Clint Eastwood. Mm -hmm. So sad. Oh no! <laughs> Please come back. I tried to move a bell in Batman 89 and got dissed by Batman in Batman Returns and then d showed up on a rooftop in my pajamas in Batman Forever. Oh, is that what they call it now? 
<laughs> Wait, did she call it a satellite? Or am I drunk? That's what she said, yeah. yeah. Show me how a satellite works. Yeah. It's a it's not a satellite. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a telescope. But you are drunk. <laughs> I like that. I was like, wait, did I just hear that right? You did. <laughs> what a stupid bitch. Oh. Revenge. Why is it on? Is that on a timer? <laughs> we so just cr- like to turn it so on. So the at criminals night. know. He's I mean, out there. That's what they that's that's now that's what they say Bane had a problem with reinforced steel. But he's lifting up the bat signal, no problem. Yeah, that's not reinforced steel. <laughs> but he's lifting up the bat signal. It's not reinforced. It's reinforced steel bat signal. No, it's just the bat signal. How do you know? Because he's not having a problem with it. But this movie makes no sense. You make no sense. I'm going to go with... Why would Alfred's password be Alfred? <laughs> what the Fine. fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> This is probably the best George Clooney gets in this movie. Seriously. Hey, I hope you're not too tired. Because I need coffee. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know how to tie my shoes. (laughs) I don't know how to undo this bow tie. Do I take my pants off? (laughs) Do Do you take off the pants with the button or the zipper first? (laughs) <laughs> is it is it one leg or two legs at a time? Do I sleep on top of the the covers or under the covers? Is it conditioner first where, or shampoo first? Where is my bedroom? Can you flush <laughs> the toilet for me? <laughs> Do I floss before I eat or after? Can you read me a bedtime story? I have good night moon ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night moon. Yeah. Pretty the thick. unabridged <laughs> version. Yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's a pretty picture thick book version. Good night moon. No, it's the super picture yeah. book version. So the pictures are so big that you can only fit one word on each page. <laughs> okay. Kind of looks like Ian McKellen. <laughs> so Ian McKellen. Mm. Snap. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? But, but seriously, the dishwasher is full, Alfred. You need to like get on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to stink, man. England. England. London. You sound like you're from London. Oh, hey, it's not signed anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Just throwing that out there. Because it said love peg earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. (laughs) Now it says it again. It's two photos. It's a a reinforced steel photo. (laughs) Sorry, it's case sensitive. It needs to be a lowercase p. Peg. Once again, Alfred blows the load of the Batman secret. Wow. So. Those are all destroyed. It's, it's one of those light beam monitors that just yeah. throws it at you. <laughs> She's oh, watching hey, look, the, the movie. Title sequence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that happy. Gonna I wouldn't be that happy, <laughs> Alicia. Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> George Clooney. Yeah. I wonder what goes on in the headroom. Oh, you know what goes on in the headroom. No, that that that's why I asked. <laughs> Gun, Pierce. Hulk, smash, Pierce. human work. Oh, the Robin signal. I guess they don't need me. Jesus. 
<laughs> Get it? Because that's his name. I always love whenever he throws that around. Yeah. One of my favorites is in uh, the death death of the family when Batman keeps calling Dick Robin. Or Nightwing. Or yeah. Nightwing, yeah, excuse me. And he's like, dude, you don't have to use code names, dude. And he goes, all right, Dick. <laughs> yeah. And I think Dick's like in bold. Yeah. I always like the way Snyder wrote the team or the oh, family. Yeah, yeah. Which is now broken apart. Yes. And now Dick Grayson's a secret agent. Ugh. You yeah. thought you knew. What was the thing? You <laughs> thought you knew Grayson. You don't know Dick. Which was like the yeah, best like poster guy. tagline ever. Oh, yeah. The best. <laughs> I love the way that they over re- overact. Why did that need such a diamond array? <laughs> <laughs> Wall. Uh. Are you gonna scream again? Or <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm on fire. <laughs> or I'm on ice. Up, 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 up. <laughs> yeah. Kind of the exact here we go. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, spread them out. You know, two feet. It's the best. <laughs> Some of there's an extended cut where every single bomb Jesus. is videotaped. Get it ready, Sam. <laughs> Butt on? How does Arnold Schwarzenegger say bird? Bird. <laughs> A bit boy. It's the cool bird boy. Bat brain and bird boy. Mm. Gotta be almost out of ink over there, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you put the bombs there? So that his death trap or his his his, his doomsday weapon could be destroyed. Death Punk just finished <laughs> up a massive set in the back cave. <laughs> Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Shut up. You're going to get cut in half. Oh. oh. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> what if that happened? They just <laughs> went for broke. At least everything doesn't turn on. Well, I guess everything is turned on. I'm not your uncle. Where it's always morning in America, even in the afternoon. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm drunk as a skunk. Ugh. Oh, butts. Yeah. I wish she had, like, the cow, though. Which I guess she has when she's on the motorcycle. Yeah. And I guess they originally planned on that, but they were like, ah, fuck it. Why'd they have to steal the bat signal? Why couldn't they just make their own? Because they broke every single one after they made the one in 89. They bashed them. They bashed them and reinforced them with steel. I'm sticking with that. (laughs) So it doesn't make any sense. That one clearly was not reinforced with steel. No, that one was reinforced with steel. That's what makes the whole movie crazy. (laughs) Because he clearly can lift reinforced steel. Guys, it's just fiction. It's just fiction? What do you mean, Jesus? I met him. I met Christ. <laughs> whenever I'm on, whenever I'm on fucking like shrooms. audio, I can't do an accent. <laughs> you can't put accent. a you can't yeah. put a lid on your life. You so why would you put a lid on your slurpee? slurpee? You never put a lid on your slurpee. <laughs> put, don't put a lid. You can't put guys. It's gonna happen. Life. We're gonna meet Grant Morrison <laughs> and one he's of these gonna days. Tell us and that? We're, gonna, we're gonna hang. It's not gonna be at a con or anything. We're gonna be at a Seven Eleven. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's gonna, the door's gonna open. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna look over, and it's gonna be that he's gonna, he's gonna be floating midair with his finger, doing the middle finger like that drawing he has. <laughs> and, and we're gonna be like, "Hey, do you want a Slurpee?" And he's yeah. like, "Sure, but don't put a lid on it." He goes, "He goes, no. Do you want a Slurpee?" And he pulls out <laughs> Slurpees already made. <laughs> and we're just like, <gasps> 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 <laughs> 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 "Oh, 
impeccably made made the order and you didn't even know and it. Like, <laughs> and then one of us is going to be like, you didn't even put a lid on it. Yeah. <laughs> and, he'll be, and he'll say that. Yeah, he'll say And it. then he'll start talking about how he like, you know. And then I'll die because <laughs> it'll be so awesome. <laughs> and then he'll start talking about how he likes Superman. And then I'll be like, I like Animal Man. <laughs> You'll be like, so what was your favorite part about writing for Animal Man? Well, Superman is great. Yeah. <laughs> I was once in Kilimanjaro. Yeah. <laughs> Did she just say fuck? <laughs> you you missed the lip there, Con. Okay. If you had to watch each Batman film, let's mean just, like let's we just are? keep it. Well, yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying let's just keep it to these four. With a Batman writer or artist, who wait, would it be? Wait, like, wh- what was the question? like? You're like, all right, Sam, you're gonna watch Batman '89. Yeah. Which Batman writer or artist would you want to watch that movie with? And then returns forever in this one. Because for this one, I think cl- clearly Grant Morrison would be the best to watch this one with. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I would watch fiction. all of them. I would watch all of them with Grant Morrison. Yeah, I think honest. so. He's wearing a bat thong. Yeah. I see a bat panty line. Robin's still free. Six to midnight because she's flying through a fucking... Oh, never mind. <laughs> that, that she also looks <laughs> it's like it's better than like eat <laughs> fluoride and fiber. <laughs> but she did fly through a skylight. God. At least this movie's like, what the? F- <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Someone rewind it and then fast forward. <laughs> Chris, explain to me I'm so as a, someone who right understands now. film how what happened. It's like, it's like they only shot, they only shot him like popping his head out, and they were like, "Wait, hold on, no, we need him to go back." We need in. more struggle. <laughs> yeah, and they decided to not reshoot him going back in. <laughs> I was freaking out. I was like, son of a bitch, we need to start this over because my like DVD player just shit itself. <laughs> it shit like, itself a long time ago with this, this one. entire movie again. <laughs> Wait, and that's how she dies? Doesn't she have like plant kinesis? No. And so couldn't never mind. Yeah. Why why? I thought she controlled plants. Yeah, why was, exactly. She was just sitting in that fly trap. Yep. <laughs> wow. World's greatest, greatest detective. detective. World's greatest detective. He's like, no, seriously, we're going to kill you later, but yeah. we need you right now. And we're also going to change outfits. Well, we got to change into the freeze suit. got to change into the final act outfit. Yeah. Much more important than saving the city. Of course. <laughs> ah, yes. I would love to watch 89 with Kyle Higgins because you know how much of like a huge fan he is of that movie. Yeah, that'd be good. Which one would you watch Frank Miller with? Or with Frank Miller, sorry. <laughs> the Dark Knight Returns. <laughs> oh, the Dark Knight Returns animated movie. I would want to know what he would have to say about that. They fucked it up. <laughs> yeah. Or this. <laughs> no, this was Morrison. Well, Morrison will be in the same room. <laughs> oh, okay. Because Frank Miller would probably be a lot of silence. Yeah, god damn. Damn it. Fucking liberals and conservatives and rah, fuck them all. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, the bat fan. I like how they don't even they don't even mention the fact that they had to switch outfits. See, that kind of looks like back like the more classic kind of Batgirl thing going yeah. on. Yeah. Remind me. I mean, it makes sense for people, but for the city, what happens in 11 minutes? <laughs> Do the buildings the no health bar runs out like in <laughs> Superman Returns, the video game. Oh, God. I was wondering if those spikes did anything, and there there it is. They yeah, it's like Boba Fett's rocket. Yeah, absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Completely <laughs> pointless. God, Batman goes through vehicles like he goes through, like, women. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's really impressive that that motorcycle was able to... Never mind, you know? <laughs> that's n- not a shield. <laughs> Never even mentioned that they were working on anti-freeze costumes or vehicles. Nope, oh, just there. It's fiction, guys. <laughs> It's all just fucking fiction. <laughs> when I was a kid, I read the novelization of Batman and Robin. <laughs> and I still have that and Forever. Nice. I ha- I have the or I had I bought the novelization of Forever mm-hmm. and I started reading it. The first chapter is about like Chase Meridian running through the city, and I was like, "This didn't happen in the movie," and I just threw it away. Yeah, Jeez. no, I, I have ha- Forever and, and and Batman and Robin. I have the comic book adaptations of all four. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty sweet. I, I I only have the first one. Good thing that she just magically knows how to use all this. Well, it's been like a year in between them leaving <laughs> Poison <laughs> Ivy's thing. I mean, look at their new costumes. Mm-hmm. I always did like the way that the those things, you know, did the whoop, 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 whoop. By the way, they've clearly been frozen for more than 11 minutes, so they're fucked. Yeah, they're like super dead. <laughs> As opposed to regular dead. Yeah. The best kind of dead, super dead. <laughs> now it's your turn to talk. Now it's your turn to talk. Now it's your turn to talk. Phasers. Bruce, it's me. <laughs> fuck your cover. It's me, Barbara. I uh, fuck the f- forget the fact. Fuck the fact that Poison Ivy's like five feet away from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, did he just say that he was going to be coming? <laughs> he comes, you know. It, it's Maybe he gets his pump on. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh free on net it's on Netflix right now, guys. It was the featured movie for a bit. Pumping Iron. Not according to my I feel like the featured movie's contingent on your uh Really? Because I've never well, I watched that uh Because I've never seen I watched some wrestling was... documentaries, so I guess that's why yeah. Yeah, Pumping Iron was uh now it's yeah, but uh who's got you? Now it's out of the furnace. I haven't watched yet. Mine isn't out of the furnace. It's uh, it's usually Continuum. Yeah, I get Continuum a lot. Probably we watch a lot of sci-fi stuff. Oh, well done, Barb's. It's not very PC. What about <laughs> Bat Person? <laughs> oh, Fuck you, Batman. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hey, they're unfrozen. <laughs> Did you see the way that he crossed his yeah. arms like a fucking bat? <laughs> it all comes back to eighty nine. God all damn! Comes it. Back to eighty nine, gentlemen. You think that was like his decision, like in the moment? George Clooney? No, he stopped making decisions a long time ago. <laughs> if this movie teaches us anything, it's that George Clooney doesn't make decisions. What's uh? What's your favorite George Clooney movie? I'd probably go with From Dust Till Dawn. Ocean's Thirteen. <laughs> oh, yeah. those, uh, I think those, live those action movies definitely are up in the air. Up I also the air is probably his best performance. I yeah. also really love Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah. I also thought the Menace of Goats was so ridiculously oh my god hilarious yes. over the top. The, 
Up in the Air, um, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and The Minister of Goats came out the same year. Yeah. And that was my favorite oh, yeah. movie, favorite animated movie, and favorite comedy of that was like, that came out. That was like the year of Clooney. Yeah, Clooney was rocking it that year. I was a bigger fan. Like, I enjoyed The Minister of Goats, but I really liked uh, Burn After Reading. Mm. Yeah, that's a good one, also too. Also a Clooney movie, mm-hmm. if I remember mm-hmm. correctly. You well, he's definitely you in it, yes. <laughs> It's also a Brad Pitt movie, if that's the case. Yes, the yeah. every way to beat Bane. Right? He has the worst weakness in the world. Although they figure, they, they figure this out really easily. In Dark Knight Rises, it takes Bruce Wayne like a year to figure out you have to hit him in the mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys jump off and do something, you fucking lazy bums? Oh! <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> and he shatters his hand. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it keeps zooming in. <laughs> why is the space bar on top? Because <laughs> <laughs> this movie doesn't give a fuck, Sam. That's why. Is that is so? That's that's where we're okay. <laughs> that's that's gotcha. it. That's, okay, we're, that's we're out of our breaker. minds now. <laughs> that's that's where we're. That's where we're drawing the line. Gotcha. Bane's lifting sure. steel and reinforced bat signals. We got it space wasn't. bars on top of the computer. We we don't know, guys. We got satellites that are not satellites that are actually not. They're, they're just like sunlight reflectors. Yeah. That's Satelli- what we've satellites been doing. that are telescopes. Yeah. <laughs> Gotham burned horribly. <laughs> yeah. God, this is going to flood Gotham. That's a good point. <laughs> I'm not at the controls anymore. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> and they all exploded. One by one, though. So, you know, that's nice. And those two scientists die. <laughs> it's like the ending of Total Recall. Yeah. For people not familiar with the comics, um, Bane was never a noodly armed weenie. <laughs> Nor was Mr. Freeze a muscle bound whatever you want to call it meathead austrian <laughs> fair enough governor of california <laughs> <laughs> that there we go that's a superhero who doesn't he's like well fuck it i'm not gonna try to do anything good thing he always has those multiple bat hang on my belt and hope, hope your arms don't snap off yeah hope Hopefully you don't weigh more than 120 pounds. Kim Basinger learned that lesson. Fatty. <laughs> Fatty Basinger. <laughs> <laughs> what a rude thing to say. She's a beautiful woman. I loved her and never say never again. That's right. Okay, those two are fucked now. <laughs> now can get washed away. Batman! Yeah! Batman! What? How do they build up that much momentum? And land so perfectly. And why are their cod pieces silver? I know why their cod pieces are silver. <laughs> I also know why I look directly at their cod pieces. <laughs> now, in what, what order did you look at their cod pieces? <laughs> <laughs> the world may never know. Oh, we know. <laughs> we All we know is... We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Sam sound like squirrels. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. so go ahead. She torched your ass. <laughs> so what was the point of Robin doing anything on this mission? So, uh, so light reflects any fucking way it wants then. Gotcha. Or I'm sorry, any way you want it. Gotcha. <laughs> the will of Batman. This is actually Superman. His heat vision. Hmm. Fixing everything. Is 
let's move out of Gotham. I'm tired of this happening every couple of years. The clearly rubber icicles <laughs> on his car. <laughs> let's go someplace nice like Metropolis. None of this happens at Star City. <laughs> let's just go to Coast City. That's a nice place. Yeah. I feel like nothing will ever happen there. We'll never get wiped off the face of the <laughs> earth. <laughs> oh, the dog is safe after peeing on that fire hydrant. Ugh. You two kicks in. <laughs> They're actually in it's the same a room. Day! Yeah. Well, I can't. I kill you. Oh wait, this is not. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for prime time Arnold freak out. Good thing he keeps that camera floating. Best around. supporting actor, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Batman and Robin. I'm getting total recall flashbacks from that <laughs> <Yeah>. angle. Again. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we're almost done. I think this came out the same year as Batman Sub Zero. Like oh, really? The, the yeah. Direct to DVD yeah. movie, which was also Mister Free centric and also better. <laughs> God, he needs to brush his teeth better. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> you get down on one oh. knee. <laughs> <laughs> I was just excited for beating you to the punch. Oh, I didn't God. mean to hit you like that. As I'm coming up. <laughs> Back! I got the joke! <laughs> no one ever calls me doctor. <laughs> God damn it, Batman, I'm a doctor. Not a doctor. Wait, <laughs> not a mister. <laughs> Oh, God. Good thing he keeps the cure on his person. On his person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he dies. <laughs> oh, <laughs> then, he, <laughs> then he disintegrates. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, okay. Walks He's away. dying, Batman. Thank you, Batman. Crooked tooth Clooney. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think with all the money he has, he'd be able to fix his fucking teeth. Oh, that was easy. Plug it in. <laughs> oh, and then it glows in the dark. A lot of black light in this movie. Joel Schumacher fucking loves black lights. I bet you if he had uh, had blacklight technology in the 80s, the Lost Boys would have looked just like that gang. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed that there's no neon in his uh in his Phantom of the Opera adaptation. <laughs> yeah. Why is she out of costume? But Dick still is in costume. It's a lot harder to get out of the Nightwing suit. <laughs> I speak from experience. <laughs> <laughs> so you 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 know the comparison between getting out of a Batgirl out, uh, out of costume, too? <laughs> the world will never know. <laughs> Samstone likes girls. Samstone likes girls. That porno sack still. She still has, like, fucking stripper glitter tears. <laughs> ah. How did he get in? He's been there, like, for a <laughs> week. Five years. <laughs> Hell. I think that counts. Jeez, what is that, 30? 27. <laughs> oh, shit. So, uh, if memory serves me, that means that this is the first Batman movie where the bad guy hasn't died at the end, or one of the bad guys. Yeah, I mean, as far as we know, Bane doesn't die either. I mean, no one helped him out, and he was like... <laughs> That's true. Couldn't stand he up. was like so a turtle probably, on, the, on his back. He probably collapsed in the explosion, d- was crushed. But I, as much as I like Bane, but we I don't would count it. him as a henchman in this. Yeah, we don't see it. I wouldn't yeah. count him as a, a an actual villain. I thought he was pretty funny. 
You're pretty funny. Thanks. <laughs> sure. She was reading. <laughs> it's upside down. Wouldn't it be funny if it were? <laughs> <laughs> Alfred. Oh, fuck. Ah! Ah! Don't squeeze too hard. Ah! <laughs> Get off I'm dick. dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a little grain going on there. It's a little little Reed Richards action. I mean, he's always kind of been salt and pepper since, like, I think the beginning of ER. He even had the salt yeah, and pepper. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Well, he can push it then. <laughs> I guess he had a pretty decent Batman voice. Like, yeah, without really so. trying. Nice and gravelly. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm drunk off my ass. Bruce Wayne laughing. Ugh. As of them jumping up, freeze flame and flash <laughs> flash thing starts flying. <laughs> Alfred is the dun 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 one jumping the highest. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> The end? Question mark. <laughs> no, this was the end. They. This is the end of the <laughs> franchise. Is, the is, dog's paw goes up randomly. <laughs> <laughs> bat dog. Yeah. Ace the bat hound. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to mention he has a dog. All right, the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's the unmade fifth film. Yeah. Batman oh, and, and Ace. here we go. A tradition that ended with this movie and started with the previous movie. Cal's not as like bouncing around as it was in uh, Forever. Thank God. So, compare it to... Was it. I'll tell you what, man. If we had to do it again, I'd watch this over Batman Forever. Right, I right. I would. I really would. <laughs> this is, this Chris, is a lot more... F- I mean, I say fun, but this is a lot more entertaining to do a commentary way more. And, and like, it's almost four in the morning. And <laughs> we finished Batman Forever, like, way earlier than that last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I will I will give it... Um, oh, it's pronounced... It's spelled fries. Yes, Doctor Victor Fries. <laughs> uh, I will say, I will say that this did have the Dr. most Victor Fries. <laughs> I shouldn't have pointed that out because I'm trying to say something serious. But no, like I, I will say, this did have the most heartwarming or heartwarming moment uh, in the entire series. I think uh, with that 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 speech. Oh yeah, what is Batman but an attempt to control the fates to con- even death? Yes, yes, that one. We all get it. You're a fucking encyclopedia. What was the count? 27. 27 <laughs> ice puns. Ooh, Richard Peewee Pimonte. Or Pimonte. Daniel Weasel was. Oh, oh, Bob Kane. Project consultant, Bob Kane. Yeah. Do you know that uh, that this song is covered by uh, by My Chemical Romance for the uh, Watchmen trailer? No. No, no, it was the it was a slower ver- it was a smashing oh, yeah, pump. No, yeah, oh, it's yeah, a slower, yeah, slower yeah, version. It was, it was, yeah. Because I actually had the soundtrack. I don't oh, know, you yeah, have this I have this soundtrack. And they, they have, they have this, and then in the end, it's a slower version of Smashing Pumpkins. Uh, MCR covered, uh, MCR, I can say MCR. Skid Row, that's right. I've yeah. seen them in concert. Nah, I've, seen, nah. I've seen them in concert. Twice, I like yeah. My Chemical Romance. And that will come back to Grant Morrison. But um, <laughs> they covered uh, MCR videos. Bob Dylan. Yeah, Skid Row. Yeah, that's what ends uh, Watchmen. Right, right, right. My bad. My bad. God. That's all good. You know what, Sam? You're Victor Fries. Victor like, Fries. I know. You're just like, oh, you, uh, fuck you. You're a fucking encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah, Victor yeah, Fries. Yeah, Victor yeah. Fries. <laughs> you haven't even seen Mine Hunters. <laughs> <laughs> you just, uh, yes. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah. Uh, oh, Mr. Schwarzenegger's drama coach, Walter <laughs> Von Heun. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I know who to blame. <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, oh, another th- slow jam. You know, Nora they- Fries and Principal Copsicles <laughs> by Rick Baker. <laughs> I have to say, so after the opening weekend, Warner Brothers had originally planned a Hold fifth on. film. It's time for love. <laughs> <laughs> Called Batman Triumphant. Mm-hmm. With, I remember hearing about that. Yeah. yeah, and it was originally supposed to be, the main villain was supposed to be the Scarecrow. Mm-hmm. Uh, ca- and they cast uh, Howard Stern, or he was in negotiations for the part. And uh, they're... His fear gas was supposed to bring back the Joker, or at least a hallucination of the Joker for Bruce. Mm. Were, were they gonna Were they gonna try to get Jack Nicholson he back? He was for that? in negotiation too, oh. and then they saw the second week drop off, and they were like, "Um, maybe not a fifth Batman movie." Mm. I would have watched that. Apparent, according to according to Joel Schumacher, it was it would have been kind of a attempt to go back to the dark, more darker Batman. Was it films. supposed to be just George Clooney? Yeah, and they were supposed to uh they were supposed to send uh 
Dick and Barbara to college, so they would be... It would just be Batman? It would be Batman-centric, and I think they would maybe come back for like the climax, but for most of the film, it would be Batman. So Dick would be busy jerking off Africa. Theoretically. <laughs> if he went on a study abroad program to the Dark Continent, sure. Wow, racist. Got to keep bringing it up with the Dark Continent. That's the, That was the term. Yeah, well, okay, well, the <laughs> Nazis were just doing their job. Does that <laughs> second unit call, mean no one, no one was on the second unit? There was no unit. second unit. So uh, that's it for this Batman franchise. This no, incarnation well, of Batman. Yeah, and then we got the three more Nolan. Yeah, I know that, but yeah, like, but I mean, yeah. But yeah, as, as far as the Burton Schumacher. This is it. Yeah. It's so weird to think that these four movies are like kind of like one franchise. <laughs> Continuity. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I never, I, I know that's supposed to be the case, but I can't, I just never, yeah. never thought of that. Like, yeah. I thought of it as two separate things. Yeah, so now we're going to a, into the period where there's no Batman movie for eight years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dark time for the Batman fans. Moner. But very, very much looking forward to uh, Batman Begins. Yeah. Well, it should be good, guys. Well, this has been a, another installment. And then everyone just groove. Yeah. Uh, mm. To uh, Apple computers. Nice. Good call. But the... Uh, well, yeah, that's what uh, Bruce was using. Yep. The, uh, and they use Panavision cameras. So, yeah, thank you for tuning in for another installment. The darkest days are behind us, at least in terms of content. Yep. We're going straight up, you know, serious Christian Bale Batman from here on out. That's right. Uh, this is, yeah, been another installment of Geek Out Commentary. I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. And we'll catch you with Batman Begins next week. Yeah. Thank you very much. (laughs) Oh, I didn't know they did that.